Hi, I'm Ian and I am a pace setter at home. So thank you again for tuning into our channel. Uh, we've got another activity for you to do today. It's a bit of a, another balancing type activity, but it also involves us using a couple of objects. So it's gonna be quite a fun one. Uh, so for this activity, you'll need very simply a toilet bowl, okay? Uh, make sure you've got a, a sort of a new toilet bowl ready to go. Hopefully you have one in around the house. And with parents' permission as well, we need a frying pan or something similar that has a flat surface in, okay? So if you do have a tennis racket at home, that works just as well. If you don't, then something like this can work equally as good, okay? So, you're going to need your frying pan or your tennis racket or object that you've got to flip. And as this is called the toilet bowl flip, we're going to put the toilet bowl into the pan. The first activity, so the easier activity of the two, is going to be putting the toilet roll on its side, okay? And you're going to try and flip it so it stands up. Okay, that's a simple version of it. You can do that, put it back down, see how many times you can do it, okay, and count and even ha have a bit of a tally chart. You can then compete against somebody else in your house, perhaps, have a bit of a fun competition, or you can do your own score and then later on try to beat that score, okay? For the second one, so if you want a slightly harder one, again, this is down to flipping. So we're gonna put the toilet roll vertically this time. Okay, we're just gonna try and flip it over onto it lands up straight, okay? Like so. And you can do that, again, as many times as you can in a row. If you want to get really inventive, you can try and do multiple flips. If you think you can do that, then all, all the more the better, okay? And just trying to flip that and again, do you can do it as a competition and have lots of fun doing it, okay? So just remember, boys and girls, make sure you have parents' permission to use the items. So just make sure you've got a safe space to do it in. This can be done indoors or outdoors, it doesn't really matter. Um, and just have lots of fun doing it, okay? So thank you very much for listening, boys and girls. Hope you are enjoying, enjoying your time at home, and thank you for being a place at home.